Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're playing Universe Sandbox again. To be... Just... Oh yeah. The video for today is that... We're going to be... Making... Like, changing up the solar system a little bit. <laughs> so... First of all, we gotta open something up, like some random object, put it all the way out here or something. Um, next, you gotta make it the size of the smallest planet. Okay, 1930 kilometers in radius. I don't know what happened to this. Like, it probably broke in the terraforming update, but I have no idea. It's just, it's just like stopped becoming nothing. It's just become Mars now. So, here we are, but this is actually the size of Kepler 37b, which after a Google search I found out was the smallest planet and we're gonna be we're gonna be taking some moons we're gonna be taking the moons out of every planet so like if we go to earth we're going to add moons to planet if we take mars we're gonna add the moons what happened to mars okay uh next you got jupiter Add its moons. Yep. Saturn. Add its moons. Uranus. Add its moons. And Neptune. We add Neptune's moons. So around here is just kind of normal stuff. Yeah, maybe we'll do Pluto as well. Just to be nice. Okay. So we added all the moons. Now we go into chart mode. Where's chart mode? View. Chart. Uh, 1D radius. Uh, now where is that little... Oh, 1,000. Oh, that's gonna make it fun. Okay, now where's the Mars thing? What is this? This is Mars? But which one's the actual Mars? Wait. So that's the not that's the actual Mars, right? So Um is this one thousand nine hundred thirty kilometers? Yeah, okay. So Everything past this is not... Oh, wow, that looks cool. Whoa, okay, so... Okay, let's not get off track here. So, everything here on... No, um, if we just take... Yeah, if we just take this control... Swipe all the way up to here, and we um, don't select the sun, and we just backspace. That'll delete everything up to here. Then we also got to delete the moon, and also Io, because we don't need those. Everything bigger than this stays. What happened? Oh, okay. Everything bigger than this Mars stays. So, Mars. Go away. Okay. So, now we view. Chart off. Where? Oh. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like back there. So, here we have it. 
So what do we have of around Jupiter? Ganymede and Callisto. And oh, around Saturn we got Titan. Uh, I don't think anything will be around Uranus and Neptune. Nothing's really big enough. The only real big ones I can expect from here are Triton, Umbriel, Oberon. Uh, the moon didn't make it, but everything here did. So, now, as we take a look, we'll see how different the solar system gets when we, when we make these moons their own planets. So, we'll, let's pretend that, first of all, uh, Callisto started migrating outwards a bit. Just like make it go a little faster so it isn't really slow. Okay. So we're going, say, like five days a second. We make it go. We. Okay. Orbital period. We make that go up slowly. Okay. We're a month now. Is it? Is it working? Really? Not yet? Oh, Jupiter's, um... Jupiter's gravity is really strong. What about a year orbital period? Come on, this has got to work, right? That's a year of orbital period. Is it still stable? What? Oh, that that's that's actually really cool. Okay. Jupiter's gravity is really strong. So around now, yeah, it's definitely fluctuating a lot. So Oh, yep, I think that's where Callisto breaks free. Around like there. Maybe? Yeah, yeah. That's not surviving anymore. And... It's probably one of its final go-arounds. Yep, and it's out. Please? Okay. So. That's what ends up with... Pause. Um, Ganymede. So, we know that the orbital period needs to be really big. So, like, in the years. So, let's make it, like, 1.8 years. You can see it's starting to, starting to fluctuate a lot now. Definitely not going to hold on for long. Oh, okay. Come on, break free. You need freedom. You're big enough to be a planet. You don't have to stay here. Okay? Yep. And we're out. Okay. This is what the solar system looks like so far. And now we have Titan. This is going to be fun because Titan's like tilted at an angle. Like the same angle as Saturn's rings. So is it going to be like a really angled different planet? So let's try it. Okay. Orbital period. Orbital period, let's see. Still not doing anything, really? Oh yeah, Saturn's a lot further away, so it can handle a lot more moons. Really far away, apparently. Okay. Six a year orbital period. This... This... <laughs> that's, that's really weird. Okay, um... Is it stabilizing still? Okay, let's just um finish off. Yep, that that's it. No, okay. 
You can see that it didn't really go off track a lot. It's just more like Pluto-y. It's a lot more Pluto-y then. Wait, did Callisto go back in orbit? <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. Callisto's out. Okay. Saturn and Saturn and Callisto might actually meet up and create some like sort of thing. So so the outer solar system now has like Oh, yep. See Callisto. Now it's going to get sent back into Jupiter. Oh, Ganymede. Okay. This just shows you how like how large the gravity of some of the planets are. Like, they can, Saturn can handle an orbit that's six years long without it, like, no, you, Saturn can handle an orbit which is, like, three years long without it crashing, like, without it exiting its influence by even a bit. Like, gravity on these planets are huge. Uh, okay, what's happening now? Oh, Callisto. Is this... Is anything gonna happen? Let's check. Because... Oh, what happened? Walk got ejected. Ganymede, Callisto, Titan. They're still there. Okay. Oh, wait. No, Ganymede's in a really bad position now. Yeah, G Ganymede's not, not surviving. What? Oh, Ganymede and Callisto. Well, no, maybe Ganymede will survive. It has, like, a little eccentric orbit to its rescue. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that didn't look good. Okay, you can see everything, all the orbits are kind of bunched up around Saturn. And this might, like, have some sort of influence. There's like some sort of influence between Jupiter and Saturn, which yeah, you can see that any anything really just get pushed out. Anything in between Jupiter and Saturn, its orbit slowly changes until it gets pushed out of the system entirely or just sent out around as far as Uranus and Neptune. So you look, Ganymede is going like, it's gone out almost past Saturn. So, what's happening now? Callisto is... Um... Is it stable? Okay. It's definitely like. Yeah, Callisto's definitely on a really eccentric orbit. Titan, not so much. It's kind of just. chilling. Oof. Ganymede is on quite an eccentric orbit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is why we can't really have any rocky planets outside the, like, outside the inner solar system, because Jupiter and Saturn just, like, wreak havoc on it. There's nothing you can do. It is really cool, though, to see what the solar system would look like if, uh, all of the moons, like, escaped their planet's orbits. Like... All the moons that actually get, that are actually big enough to be planets, which in this case I just call bigger than the smallest planet. So, let's see what happens. Whoa. Oh, what happened there? Okay. Titans kind of get in tug on by Saturn. So, I don't think Titan's safe anymore. The only real way you can be safe is by having an orbit that's 
around as eccentric as that. Let's run the simulation for a bit more and see what happens. Okay. I like to the point where I can barely keep track of it. Callisto's orbit just got changed again. I think it's got like another double encounter with Jupiter. Oh, and okay, it's surviving. Oh, what happened there? Ganymede just got yanked by Saturn. Let's just focus on the sun. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, Callisto's orbit, is it good? Not really, it's still like in the danger zone. The movements look so random without orbit lines, like, can you see it? Like, they're so random. You can't keep track of any of them. Try keeping track of uh, Callisto right there. It's kind of easy, actually. Never mind. Oh, something happened. Jupiter and Callisto are kind of close. Oh. You can see the orbits of Uranus and Neptune changing. I'm not sure if that's normal or that's um, something that happens usually. Saturn and Titan are just in this endless race. Okay, so... Oh, the extra planets have, like, flattened out their planes. Jupiter's, like, flattened out the planes. Titan's almost, like, on a flat plane. Callisto and Ganymede... Callisto is still visible. Like, you, it's still very visible. You can see it's more Pluto-y than the rest. From here, the orbits just don't look like they're gonna have fun. Oh, wait, Titan just got pulled in in the little area in the death zone between Jupiter and Saturn. Oh, oh, Ganymede got ejected. Okay, that's our first ejection. Only like a few thousand years into the simulation. So if if the two moons escaped after only a few thousand years, the Yeah. It would be completely ejected. Oh, okay. Callisto is Titan Yeah, the system's falling apart now. These new planets wouldn't last more than a few thousand years, tops. Is Titan safe? Is Titan safe or is it... No, not safe, not safe, never mind. Yep. Yeah, Titan isn't safe. Anything in between Jupiter and Saturn just can't be safe. Callisto. Again. No, because they're all on the same plane now. What? How does that happen? Is it like because Jupiter tugs on them, bringing their orbit down? But if they go two down, tugs more on the other side? Oh. Okay. It's yeah, Ganymede's long gone. Ah, uh, boom. Ah. Uh.
Ooh. Okay. It's starting to like Callisto's starting to not have a good time with Jupiter again. So yeah, Jupiter and Saturn just eject everything. We're now 3,000 years into the simulation. Actually, almost 4,000. Yeah, now we're 4,000. Wait. 6,000. Whoops. Um, we're 6,000 years into the simulation now. On the 26th of September, 8,241 at 9.14 a.m., the solar system would look like this. I'd say that's pretty useful information for just about everyone on this planet. Um, yeah, really life-changing. It's kind of mesmerizing to see these planets just spin endlessly and slowly change. Um. I feel like nothing else is really going to happen, so I'll speed up the next part. Yeah, let's just speed it up. about to hear, hit the year 10,000. Um, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, we're going to the final days of it's Christmas. Lost Christmas before five digits. Thirty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's New Year's Eve on year 9,999. Let's see how people react. Okay, good. My mic's on. Okay. Oh, okay. 11.50. Just imagine the people having fun. 56. 57. 58. 59. And it reverts. <laughs> it reverts back to zero, zero one. Okay, that's cool. Well, let's go back to the years. The years go by. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I feel like eventually everything will get ejected cuz everything's on the same plane now. It's all it's all gone. Ganymede's gone, so I think the rest will follow. And I'm not waiting here around for like another hour and a half. So goodbye. Have a great week and make sure to subscribe. It's literally just clicking a button. So bye.